your mud bog and work in the fields or just cruising, the Tire Lady has just the right tire for you. And if you want your ride to really stand out, ask about tire and wheel combinations. Get the most out of your vehicle with the perfect set of shoes from the Tire Lady at Rainbow Tire. And the Tire Lady will take care of you. Rainbow Tire. It's wild, it's wonderful, it's home. From the peaceful sites to the adventurous rivers, we want to protect our great state. But most importantly, we want to protect our people. When someone from our community gets injured in an accident, big insurance companies out of state look at you as a number. At Cranston and Edwards, we fight for you, getting you the settlement you deserve. Cranston and Edwards, we protect you. My name is Bob Music. Uh, I'm happy to host this today along with Star City. Uh, I spent four years in the Air Force, 67-71, uh, a great time for me. And since then we've tried to have uh, Star City celebrate <coughs> Veterans Day. And we're going to start off with a presentation of callers. Marine Corps Detachment 342. Now we'll have the laying of the reef. Now the presentation of the Honor Guard. Our invocation today will be by Pastor Kevin, Kevin King, 
Where is Kevin? Oh, there you are. Right there. Westover's EMC. Thank you. Father, we love and praise you today and thank you for the opportunity to be here to honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. I said this yesterday at church, but I'll say it again, Lord God, being 75 miles from the North Korean border just 10 days ago and watching people cry out with one word, freedom, it puts this day... Um, into a new perspective for me. We are such a blessed country, Lord God, and the fact that people have lived out the most perfect form of love, laying down their lives for friends, is a most special thing. And so for our veterans who have laid down their lives for us, every service man and woman around this world who have given their lives to fight against tyranny and to ensure freedom for all of us is not to be taken for granted. So God, may your blessing be upon their families today as they stand with you in your peace and blessing that is your presence. Thank you for each and every veteran that's here today to honor those who have gone before them. Thank you for each and every one of the people here today who offers thanks to these. We love and give you praise, God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My pleasure to introduce the uh, mayor of Star City, Herman Reed. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. I'd like to begin by saying thank you for being here today. I know each of you understand that we are commemorating the sacrifices of those military men and women who gave their lives in service to our nation. We must never forget their friendships, their bravery, and their duty. It was my great pleasure being here today as my military career started September 24, 1971. In six years, I served in the U.S. Air Force, the Air National Guard in Martinsburg, West Virginia, and the U.S. Army Reserves in Morgantown, West Virginia. My decision to join the Air Force was because my Uncle Joe was a 20-year lifer in the Air Force, and my older brother served in the Air Force. Uh, believe it or not, I put in for Vietnam numerous times because I was just raring to go because my cousin, Jeff Strappas, who I believe was the only Star City boy that was killed in Vietnam. And uh, I wanted to go there. Uh, he earned the Congressional Medal of Honor, and I'm very proud of him. I went from Air Passenger Specialist in the Air Force Station in McGuire Air Force Base, New Jersey, to Martinsburg as a parachute rigger in the six months that I had to peck my own shoot and cargo shoots for Jeeps, we would roll the Jeep into a C-130, push it out, and then jump after it. This was a guy that was just definitely afraid of heights. So I tried my hardest to get back to Morgantown, the Army Reserves. My family and I have always had great admiration and gratitude to all veterans of all service branches and to truly it is my honor to be standing here. As you leave today, I hope you will keep the following, their family and their friends in your minds for it is their immense collective sacrifices that keep our country safe and free. 
I'd also like to thank three of my council members, Todd Gregg, who is a great ball player with my stepson Zippy in St. Francis and has been on council for years. Sharon Doyle, who helped out with this and has helped me out in the last two years. Because believe it, I need it. And uh, to Bob Doyle, who's passed away. Uh, Dick Gregg, who was in the Army. Bob was in the Air Force. Both of them were gone. And uh, both of them were like dads to me, both of them. <laughs> also like to hey, thank Cindy. Um, Cindy's been on council for two years and she has helped me immensely also. So thank you all for coming. Mr. Korean veteran, thank you. All you other veterans, thank you. Leslie and Kaylee, you ready? Our first singing group. Leslie Brooke and Donna Kaylee. Good morning. Um, Kaylee and I are, are really honored to be a part of this every year. I think we've been doing it. She graduated this year as a senior, and I think we've been doing this for at least six years, maybe more. Yeah. So, uh, and um, we make it a family occasion. The whole family comes out. I think it's important for us to teach our young people to honor those who have served. And um, it teaches them uh, to serve themselves. So, um, and it kind of has become sort of a little family reunion. I see Brother Al every year. I see some of the same faces. So uh, um, we're just truly honored to be here. I am going to kind of step back and let Kaylee sing. She's going to do the national anthem. So if, if you guys would just stand while we... Uh, honor America here, but she does it just fine by herself, and I'm um, just going to kind of pass the mantle and let her take it. Okay. As always, when we do events like this, we uh, announce celebrities in our audience. And I'd like to introduce Delegate Evan Hansen over here. No applause for Evan, okay. Uh, Delegate Rodney Powell's. One applause. <laughs> Retired Delegate Charlene Marshall. Special guest, he was just elected the State Assessor of the Year in the state of West Virginia. 
my brother, Mark Music. Congratulations. And of course, Sheriff Palmer and his staff are here. Sheriff, welcome. Did I miss anybody? John Spragans. John Spragans, football hero, 1974, WVU. <laughs> From Colwood, West Virginia. Also, uh, real quickly, I have a neighbor, Eric, where are you? Stand up, please. This gentleman drives by my house, and I see these PH on his plates. I keep thinking, you know, being a military man myself, I got to flag him down. So the other day, I jumped in front of his truck, scared him to death. He didn't know who I was. I said, are those your plates? And he said, yes. So on Burr Hill, the Purple Heart recipient, I've already asked him to participate next year as one of our veterans. He wanted to come down and see how we handle this. But ladies and gentlemen, Eric Lipscomb. Thing, a few people that the mayor talked about, Nikita, who did our program, one of the mayor's staff people, she did a really nice job of putting our program together. Sharon and her beautification committee she jumped in there. Chief Tommy Bardell and his staff. Chief, thank you. Bill Davis and his staff for putting up the chairs and the tents. Uh, and all other participants who volunteered their time. The Marine Corps Honor Guard, thank you guys again each year. You come out. They're getting some younger Marine go there. Look at how young they are. Okay. Right. <laughs> and uh, my friend Janice Price, who helped me, she had done this a couple years previous, give me the program and the people's names that I got together. So I want to thank Janice for that. <laughs> now to the business side. Um, hey, we got one down there, Alan Sharp. Oh, right where? I said, where is he? Alan. Alan, there's Alan Sharp, our former mayor. I'm sorry, Alan. Bob Newby, former mayor. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, the former mayor. Uh, I work in mental health, so being mayor wasn't a big deal to me. It's about the same. Uh, luckily, one of our recipients was ill this morning, so we're going to have two. Uh, and we have a number of people who have to get to Fairmont for another event, so we're going to move forward here. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Kent Linhart, our State Agriculture Commissioner here in West Virginia. He was uh, agreeable to come up here and speak today before he goes and speaks a couple other places. Lieutenant Colonel Linhart. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate that. I appreciate the invitation to be here today. Kaylee, that was a marvelous job, and uh, you did us all very proud with that. Uh, rendition. It really was great. You know, the bread is coming in, so I won't talk uh, for 45 minutes like a plan. No, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I want to talk about the families a little bit, too, because all too often we forget about what the families go through on this day. You know, normally we look at this day as the start of summer, you know, this weekend, and we have parties, and it's great that we celebrate all weekend long. But let's make sure we take a little bit of time to remember those that have fallen as to why we celebrate this weekend. And I know all those members that have fallen that are looking down upon us now saying, have a great time, have a good party, hug your family and friends. They don't get to do that anymore. But let's talk about the sacrifices of the family. When I uh, first entered the Marine Corps, <coughs> I could not leave get off the phone with my mother or leave the home on a, on a visit without my mother saying, keep your head down. So she did that for 21 plus years. Now she, then she started to do it when I got into politics. But, <laughs> but uh, for 21 years, she was always concerned. And my wife, the day I was over in Desert Storm and Desert Shield, and the day the fighting started, our home was robbed. My wife had to go through that whole horrible ordeal all by herself. There's a lot of sacrifices that a lot of families go through that allows us as veterans to assert, and we can't forget that. Now, unfortunately, uh, Bob mentioned there's going to be another uh, activity down in Fairmont today, and that's a Gold Star Mother uh, dedication. 
for those gold star mothers, that war never ends. When I came home, that war ended for my family. And for those gold star families that have lost a loved one in conflict, those wars never end. So, this is a great event, and it's important that we teach our children as we grow up. How do we make sure that this goes on and on and on forever, and we remember all those uh, that went on? Uh, there's various things you can do. We can participate in the National Memorial Movement Moment of Remembrance. Uh, that's going to be at 3 p.m. today at, for one minute. Just take a moment of silence at 3 p.m. today and have your children participate. You can attend events like this and can continue to encourage folks. Make sure you, when you have your picnics, you have a lot of memorial things up and you talk about it while you're doing your activities. But make sure that we teach our young folks the importance. You know, our nation was born out of turmoil back in 1776. And from that, we got a great constitution. But that constitution has been tested over the years. And we've had those other wars. 1812, things were curious. We're in, uh, not in the best shape. 1860, our constitution was really tried. 1917, the war to end all wars, and we lost a lot of Americans in that. We lost a lot of Americans in World War II. Korea, oftentimes the Korean veterans were forgotten. I know you didn't. Uh, your memorial came a little bit late. The Vietnam veterans, they didn't come home to the best of times. I came home and from Desert Storm to a ticker tape parade. And a lot of our veterans now are coming home to thank you for your service. And we've got a conflict that's going on nigh on 18 years now. So we have to remember all those that went before and did all these great things. And you look at the news today, don't feel too concerned. You look at the news today and all the conflict and strife. There was conflict and strife in our country during all those previous times. But if we stick to our Constitution, and we stick to our values and remember the freedoms that we have because of those that sacrifice, I think we're going to be just fine. Don't you all agree? Yes, So I want to thank you. It looks like the rain might be coming in. I heard a little bit of thunder. I want to thank you all for attending today. Thank you for the support you give all the service members. And thank you all the families that have supported us over the years. Have a great day. And enjoy the rest. talking about his mother in the service, when I was in basic training, I call home once a week, he said, if they hit you, you call let me know. <laughs> That's an Italian mother for you, she said, if they hit you, let it, let it know. <laughs> now, the mayor of Star City, a veteran, I just want to say thanks to Bob. Without him, this would have never happened this year. He organized everything. He really helped Star City out and everybody. And uh, just God bless you all. Thanks for coming. And thanks. <laughs> That's how we like it. Brother Al Anderson, up next. Another year, Al, another year. Well, thanks for inviting me once again. You know, it's always a pleasure to come over here. I missed last year. I said, man, must have got fired, you know. And, <laughs> you know, and, and I don't get to see uh, this family here. I used to see all the time years ago. And what well, is a beautiful song. I was telling your mom, who was at the other church up there, said there was two great voices up there. When she came along there, I'll tell you, boy, she had some pipes on her. <laughs> oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, 
Forever waves of gray Her purple mountain majesty Above the fruited plain America, America God shed his grace on thee And crowned thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairie to the ocean, White with foam, God bless America, my home, sweet home. Let's all do that one more time. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountain to the prairie. To the ocean, white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Participants come every year, volunteering, waiting for my phone call, say, can you join us? And now another family, the Dorico family. Michael, where is he? Marty and Michael, Marty back there. Michael, come on up, buddy. That's the only song he does. He practices for the next year in 65 days, right? <laughs> His dad was down there. Thank you, sir. Thank you for bringing your family out. Now we're going to have retirement of the callers.
in closing, um, uh, Sarah Dole and Patty Reed made cookies. They're back there on the table <laughs> if you want to try them. Some water. Sam's Club, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to tell you how serious this is for us in Star City and how proud we are to honor our troops, our Star City members, and people from outside our community. Uh, and Eric, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this. You can do this next year. If you saw the mayor do it, you know you can do it, brother. Uh, thank you so much. God bless you. God bless our troops. Have a great Memorial Day weekend.
your mud bog and work in the fields or just cruising, the Tire Lady has just the right tire for you. And if you want your ride to really stand out, ask about tire and wheel combinations. Get the most out of your vehicle with the perfect set of shoes from the Tire Lady at Rainbow Tire. And the Tire Lady will take care of you. Rainbow Tire, the Tire Lady takes care of me. It's wild, it's wonderful, it's home. From the peaceful sites to the adventurous rivers, we want to protect our great state. But most importantly, we want to protect our people. When someone from our community gets injured in an accident, big insurance companies out of state look at you as a number. At Cranston and Edwards, we fight for you, getting you the settlement you deserve. Cranston and Edwards, we protect you. 